have there been any difficulties with the robot or has it been kind of smooth sailing? Very recently the biggest difficulties we've been coming across is as we're putting the robot together like all the um, major components of the robot were built separately and we're finally bringing them all together to one robot and with that comes space tolerance issues so as we fit things together we're needing to move little bits and pieces of mechanics around to make it all fit. So far on the team I've been doing mostly the mechanical work like machining and things. Um, in the beginning of the season I worked mainly on prototyping the arm which is coming together really nicely since we got our parts. At this point the only parts we really need to do are the ones that need to be machined and we're finishing those up soon. We're thinking that the arm is going to be done by the end of tonight. Can you tell me what is the most challenging thing you've had with building the arm so far? Um, I'd say just making sure everything goes together the way we want it to. I mean, it's not been easy to machine because I haven't been machining for that long. So given that the, most of the arm had to be done on the mill or a lot of the pieces had to be done on the lathe as well, it was just a challenge making sure that I was able to get all the pieces we need um, to the right sizes that we wanted. How do you think the robot's going to perform this upcoming competition season? Um, it's looking really good, so I'm really hoping it's going to be as wonderful as it was last year because that would just be amazing. Let's go to Einstein. Good evening. As everybody knows, it's Valentine's Day and love is in the air. So, in a special Valentine's Day video, which you guys should definitely check out, we asked a few couples on the team how well they knew each other. But what about those special teammates who aren't exactly going out? but know each other so well that they could be. Well, we asked them a few questions about each other to see how well they would know the questions and how well they knew each other. So without further ado, let's check it out. All right, so Yuki, as far as I know, you know a lot about Michael Kerman, don't you? I do. Would you mind answering a few questions about him for me? Yes. <laughs> All right, what's his favorite color? <laughs> Anything that looks good. I have a lot, but I guess I'll just go with red. What's Yuki's favorite color? Uh. Also, anything that looks good. I'll guess yellow since she asked for a yellow starburst today. <laughs> What's your favorite anime? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Woo! Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. What's his favorite anime? Um, it's either <laughs> Full Metal Alchemist or Soul Eater. Same one. What's his favorite animal? Uh, he likes fat animals. I don't know which one specifically, but he likes fat ones. A dog. And what's your favorite animal? Also, fat animals. I'm gonna guess her chinchilla. Well then, thank you. So, Emily, as far as I know, you know a lot about Christine, right? Yes. What's your favorite anime? Hmm, that's a hard one. Anime, I think she likes Death Note. Oh, and there's this, I, I don't know the name, but she calls it Derpy Cafe. It has like this talking panda in it. It's hilarious. What's her favorite anime? Death Note. Death Note. All right. What's her favorite color? I think it's blue. Blue. What's her favorite color? Purple. Definitely blue. What's her favorite animal? Cat. Kiki the Freaky Monkey. <laughs> I guess it would have to be Kiki the Freaky Monkey. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite animal? Penguin. It's a tie between a blobfish and a penguin. Oh, uh, blobfish, never heard of that one. And this one should be easy for both of you. Yes. What's her favorite constellation? Constellation? Orion. The Big Dipper. Leo? The bear that the Big Dipper's made out of, I like that one. If you say so. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so Elliot, I know you know O'Neill pretty well, so can you answer a few questions for me? Sure. Maybe. What's your favorite animal? Wolf. Dogs. What's her favorite animal? As far as I can tell, the batteries. 
<laughs> the shop batteries. Fish. Because they take no effort. What's your favorite food? Chocolate. Chocolate, maybe. What's her favorite food? Macaroni and cheese. Pasta. So, what's his favorite color? Purple. I don't know if he has one. He's colorblind. What's her favorite color? I don't know. Blue. Blue. I'm going to claim blue. Thank you. You're welcome. So, Andrew, how was your first gold season? It's going very well. I enjoy it. I get to work on a lot of the uh, media group, and I get to videotape a lot of the robots in the shop, and I get to work on After Effects with Liz all the time. That's great. Have you made any new friends? Made a few. I can count them on like at least two or three hands. Okay. Thank you. I'd have to say my favorite part of build season so far was being very involved with CAD. I mean, I was last year as well, but I really got into it this year. I made some intake prototypes, learned how to read a scale properly. Oh, I'm so proud of that. Yeah. I'm proud of you as well. But I have to ask, what do you keep in your fro? A scale, obviously. Why is that obvious? Scales are the best. They're like mini rulers, but they're like more accurate. They're like the graduated cylinder of rulers. That was beautiful. Thank you for that. I'm here with veteran Eric, who's part of the CAD team. So Eric, tell me, what have you guys been working on so far? Uh, basically, we've just been updating the model day to day, making sure it's uh, all the right parts are in the right places, and just keeping up with the mechanical build team and electrical build team. So we're just working on updating the robot day to day until it's final. I know CAD, mechanical, and electrical teams, they're not exactly the same thing, but you guys move around each other. How exactly do you do that? Um, in the beginning of the season, I guess you could say uh, the rest of the build team depends on the CAD team to get some basic ideas across in the models, but then it's kind of like a role reversal. And now we're relying on the mechanical team and the, and the uh, electrical team to update our model to make sure we're always up to date. So I think it's, it's all, it's kind of circular and we just rely on each other for pretty much everything. Okay, thank you.